today we are cleaning the fridge and gonna move some of our things in to the kitchen because next weekend is going to be our shakedown trip so it's move-in day of course in our typical fashion red decided that we need to change the door on the bathroom and we need to do it like this week so we went to the restore and found some old shutters for a house we are going to reconfigure them into doors and make a barn sliding door inside the camper which is going to look really cute but for now my job is to clean that thing which gross and just get it ready for camping next weekend <laughs> Our newest project last minute decided to change the bathroom door from a regular door to a sliding barn door went to habitat and found these shutters so we're reconfiguring them into a door and they're real wood and they come from some old house they're pretty fantastic actually one coat of primer on getting ready for second coat this is what the door to the bathroom looks like right now you know just a typical RV door but look when you open it you can't open it any further than the fridge so my plan was to keep the dog's water bowl in here but I can't do that if this door won't stay open so that's really the reason why we decided to go with the barn door plus we really like a barn door how much do you think that door weighs it's a good at least at least 30 pounds i think it weighed more than that because uh you know i can easily lift 30 pounds oh my it might god be closer to 40. that is ridiculous that's the heaviest thing in this in this damn can that's an exterior door it's not even hollow hold it see it slide it looks pretty good we had to take the door frame out so it would lay flat because so the door frame kicked Oops. it out yeah. So I'll have to paint. Again. Again. So in case y'all were thinking that this would be an easy project, uh, you know, nothing's ever easy around here, especially in this RV. But it does look good and it's secure. Did have to put a piece of wood on the back side of the wall so that the frame could be secure. All right, so we bought this thing, 2001 Fleetwood Southwind. Fully carpeted. Had carpet on the slide. The carpet even wrapped under the slide to meet the carpet that was on the floor here. And what that did, and we've seen it in previous YouTube videos from other people, that kept your slide nice and level whenever it was coming in. Well, once we took that carpet out, we tried to bring the slide in and it wanted to bottom out on the floor right here. So instead of, we've seen people put carpet remnants and all kind of things like that. And I decided maybe to try something different. Maybe somebody else has already done it. Don't know, but I decided to get some wheels off of Amazon. We put these wheels on here. That way we're trying to stop the carpet remnant crap. And we put them on there and tried it the other day. This is what we got. The wheel's not rolling, but it does guide. And the reason the wheel's not rolling is because it's just sliding. There's not enough weight on it. See, it'll finally roll when it gets the weight on it. But it keeps the slide from hitting the floor. From running on the floor. So because of the carpet being removed and us having to put those wheels before we had the wheels, we brought in the slide because we were bringing it to the house and about this far, the slide wouldn't come in. Uh, he was looking at me and I was looking at him. My thought was like, <laughs> oh my God, how much money is this going to cost? And what was your thought? Oh, I'm going to fix that. Well, I mean, at first I thought we had really messed up, but uh, I remember seeing the video and she remembered seeing the video. So we said, all right, well, let's put some carpet under it. So we took carpet and folded it three times because that's really what you had on there. You had carpet on the floor and, and carpet under the uh, slide meeting. So and the pad. 
and the pad. So it was like three thicknesses. So we put that on each side and it slid right in and everything was great. So thankfully, we watched that YouTube video. The guy had redone his and he was just trying to prevent the slide from scratching his new floor. Not necessarily because the slide didn't come back. The only, I have never seen a video where the slide is not flush when it's laid out. Ours sits up like this. So when it was coming in, it was wanting to tilt down. But he's got a brilliant mechanical mind and he comes up with amazing solutions to problems that I think are unsolvable. And he makes them work. He had to get something like called a 90 degree drill. I don't even know what that thing is. <laughs> I don't even know, but hey, it worked. And we didn't have to buy it. Surprisingly, somebody at his work had one so we could borrow it. Otherwise, straight to Harbor Freight. We've uh, added to our tool collection. I'm trying to minimize, yeah. but we just keep buying more tools. Yeah. Every job needs a new tool. So yeah. our sons are going to benefit from yeah, this. Yeah, they're going to have a, an extra bit of tools in their shed when we leave. Tomorrow, he's bringing the RV to get inspected. And next week is our shakedown trip. So we will see you guys later, and hopefully the Shakedown Trip is going to be fun fun and without issues. Yeah, no, no problems. It's only 20 minutes from the house, so... We'll be all right. How are we going to get out of there if something happens? I'm not bringing the car. We're going to call Reeks. There's no service. <laughs> Guess we'll figure it out. We'll figure okay. it out. We are going to be scraping... The things up in the top of the roof of the camper. Around the vents. Around the vents, the seam, all that stuff. And using this uh, caulking stuff to reseal it. We don't really know what to expect when we get up there, but we're about to go find out. Good luck. Working on the roof today. It's not very impressive up here. It's pretty damn scary because it's pretty high. So we are taking covers off of air conditioners and vents, cleaning out all the wasp nests, dirt gobber nests, whatever you want to call them, and cleaning all the excessive amounts of dust out of here. While I am over here working on ripping up old cock. It's very tedious because the cock is still pretty pliable. So I uh, busted my hand about a million times on that antenna and now I'm in a lot of pain. But I'm gonna push on through and I have this whole front to do to remove the caulk. I've been at it now for 30 minutes <laughs> and I've only done that little tiny bit. That little tiny bit. Well, finished the front seam then I moved on to this dumb antenna. But Red's over here trying to take the caulk that's over caulk, that's over caulk off of this satellite dish. It's really, really difficult. Just a little bit. Oh, well, what time is it? It's almost 12. We just took about a 45 minute break. Was it normal? Uh, it was like maybe after 11. So from 8 to 11, we were up at the top scraping old caulk from the front seam, the antenna, and the satellite. And the kitchen vent. Yeah. So we're going up, we're going to put some caulk on the stuff that we've already picked, and I'm going to start picking some more. My hands are really hurting from the sad little putty knife thing that we're using, which broke on me two times. Yeah, it's, uh, you better get some good plastic scrapers. And this caulk is not, it's not dry. It's still very pliable, so it's really hard to take off. So yeah, for the guy that said, it's time to change all the caulk, he might have been- He little... just saw the dirt is yeah. what he saw. There was a couple of spots on the seam that was dry. It was dry. Yeah. It crumpled right off. So so we're heading back up. We're going to see what we can get done. We're going to probably come back tomorrow and finish it. We'll see. Good morning. It's Sunday, and we are back in the shop working on the roof of the camper. Last night, well, yesterday afternoon, we worked till about 2.30, and then we left and went to Camping World to buy one thing. What did we go to buy? Oh, another tube of caulk 
And oh, dude, we dropped a hundred bucks on stuff that we absolutely didn't need. Well, we needed that cover. Yeah, there's a cover for the fridge vent. Yeah, that was looking kind of fragile. So we went ahead and bought a new one there. Bought a thermometer for the fridge and tape. Mm, tape. Yeah. Oh, tape to fix the air conditioner vent because it's cracked or whatever. So after that, we went home and cooked dinner, and we were like, oh, it's only 5.30. What do you want to do? Because we have all these house projects going on, but none of them could be done in a short period of time. So we said, let's go back and finish picking caulk. So that's what we did. We came up here. We finished the skylight, the other max fan, and the back seam, and, re and caulked all of that in like an hour and a half. I don't know what took us so long yesterday in the front. It was hard. That's why. The, the caulk is not dry it's still really pliable so it's hard to pick off which is good yeah because that way you know it's still down in the seams and we're just taking the old nasty off and putting more on top so so today's project is just to put everything back together he's gonna go up there and check to see if we need more caulk which according to the professionals the know-it-alls on facebook we need to add way more caulk than we've already added we'll see yeah i'm gonna go down and look i'm sure i'll put some more just for the hell of it. I have plenty. Yeah, we did order what they suggested. Eight, 18 twos. <laughs> and while he's up there doing that, I'm going to wash the windows um, in the front, the windshield, and then I guess the side windows. Because when we washed the roof, they got really dirty. All that nastiness came down yeah. on the side. We need to wash the whole camper, but at this time, it's not happening. We're going camping next weekend, so maybe after we go camping. Yeah, we'll try to get it wash the whole thing take our time it's so, dirty yeah so i'm gonna grow i'm gonna get up there and i'm gonna show you guys the new caulk and see, let you see what it looks like <laughs> so this is where we started yesterday and this is just with one application of the caulk it's obvious that we need to put much more caulk than what we originally thought last night because this stuff is called self-leveling and so it just kind of gets flat as the day goes on. So we're going to add another whole tube to the seam and then do some more back here at the antenna. And then as we go back, do more back there. Getting ready to get started washing these windows. You don't realize how big they are until you actually have to, you know, clean them. So I think we're finished. Put a ton more caulk based upon the comments, comments and directions. On Facebook. You never know. He said that there's no way you could put more caulk I mean, there. I mean, at some point, you're just piling caulk on top of caulk to say you put caulk. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. Yeah. I understand this is self-leveling. It's going to go into the cracks and into the grooves. But, I mean, at some point, I mean, I use seven or eight tubes. Right. And it just seems like there's a ton of caulk up there. So, we're going to take our chances. It's supposed to rain during the week, and if we get any leaks, we'll take care of it. I cleaned all the windows, which, which was a job, and put some rain -X on the windshield. Also cleaned inside. It gets so dirty. It's just been sitting parked, and it's just filthy. Ugh. Well, we're knocking stuff from the yeah, ceiling true. and walking up there. True. You know. So, next week in camping. So, I can't wait. Finally get a weekend off. We've been working like slaves every weekend, either on the house or on the RV. So, it's exciting to have a weekend off. To go and relax. Yes, it is. So until next time, we'll see you when we pop a top on adventure.